Welcome to the United States of America. Which doesn't mean we're on a Hollywood film set. Los Angeles and San Francisco are the nearest big cities, but they're more than 2,000 miles away across the Pacific Ocean. This is Hawaii, 50th State of the Union. The authentic hula. Other faces of ancient Polynesian culture are proudly preserved in this traditional Hawaiian village near Honolulu. Part of that culture is a great respect for the old, and they have an important part to play in the community. Its balmy airs are always blowing, its summer seas flashing in the sun. So Mark Twain recorded his own indelible memory of the land he claimed had the strongest hold of all. Here he was at home amid, if you like, nature's own flower children, because here the flower means everything that is beautiful, and there are flowers everywhere. The grass skirt and the lays symbolize the simple life in the sun. But on Hawaii's islands, life is as modern as anything else in 20th century America. Local architecture adds its own vernacular charm to the skyscraper elegance of big city skyline. Captain Cook found Hawaii, but the Polynesians had been here for centuries. Since the 1890s, it's been part of America, achieving statehood in 1959. prosperity here, Ala Moana is one of the biggest shopping arcades in the world. Here in the great expanse of the Pacific, an island community has every convenience of big city life. If there are flowers everywhere, so there is cool, clear, blue water. Here, it's a 300,000 gallon tank, a Pacific marine land called Sea Life Park on the island of Oahu. As well as being a sea circus, it's an ocean science theater where you can see how dolphins are trained to go diving with frogmen scientists investigating their amazing feats of underwater detection. Sea Life Park is also a maritime museum that reflects the age of discovery on the surface of the seven seas. Although to the tourist, a sea circus with a whale as aquatic acrobat has an appeal that's far from academic. On Hawaii, it seems, there's no way of avoiding having a whale of a time. And keeping that on top of the world feeling is no problem where a hotel has an elevator that's its own room with a view. Blue water, water everywhere at Waikiki and at Maui, the island next to Hawaii itself. The Pacific always comes rolling in, mile upon mile of dazzling white beaches. What else is there to say? You don't have to be a Bondi beach brave to get the knack of surf riding. And you need no acrobatic talent whatever to be seeped in sun and the irrepressible sound of the ocean rollers sweeping into the shore.
Primarily, Hawaii is six islands. Oahu, Kaui, Molokai, Lanai, Maui, and Hawaii itself. For Mark Twain, the loveliest fleet of islands that lies anchored in any ocean. Volcanic rock and coral reef form the dramatic island's terrain. The Pacific sailor's landmark is Diamond Head. It means as much in these islands as the White Cliffs of Dover or the Statue of Liberty. But Honolulu is the Pacific's crossroads, where the myriad island cultures meet. And it's the stopping off place for the trans-Pacific traveler. And whoever stops off at Hawaii stays for at least a little while longer than he planned. After all, there's only one place in the world with a welcome like this. The message of the islands is come and see the friendship that goes with flowers. If you arrive on the islands at the right time, which is any time, the best kind of reception you will get anywhere in the Pacific or the world is a luau, a feast Hawaiian style with pigs roasted in an underground oven with sweet potatoes, pineapple, and of course, the music of the hula.